Hello and welcome back to NSUSpartans.com. Norfolk State tonight, victorious over UMBC. 83 to 66 is your final score. Ross Gordon joined by Mike Bello, Assistant Sports Information Director and the senior forward for Norfolk State University, Rob Johnson. First of all, it was a great shooting first half for the Spartans. They only missed two three-pointers in the first half, getting out by 12 at the break. Yeah, that was real key for them, um, especially with the way UMES try, or UMBC tried to make that comeback there in the second half. And, you know, NSU kind of left some points out there on the board Rudy didn't hit their free throws like they needed to. Got out, rebounded really uh, by at least five or six there. Weren't really good on the boards. But hitting those threes, getting that big lead, I mean, that was really key for them into the second half as well. Three players space, place Norfolk State today. Malcolm Hawkins, another big day. He had 20 points, 17 for Rob Johnson to go along with 11 rebounds. Also a nice night in rebounding for Pendarvis Williams. He ended up with 19.7 boards and five assists. The Spartans shared, shared the basketball very well as well. Ended up with 19 assists on 27 made baskets. Yeah, and like I said, their their offense was really was really going. You know, they're getting up and down the court. There weren't like fast break points necessarily, but they were getting uh, the pace was really quick. Um, but like I said, just the the rebounds just was it was hurting them on the boards. You know, UMBC getting those second chance points, getting those offensive boards was hurting them. Um, but the Spartans were able to stay with it and you know come out with the win. We bring back now Rob Johnson for the third time. Hopefully, the charm here as we continue along mm -hmm. on the. Yeah, post game show here on NSUSpartans.com. Rob, another huge night for you. 17 points, 11 rebounds, 7 of 11 from the floor, 2 of 3 from behind the three-point arc. You have to be happy starting to get your stroke back. Yeah, um, like I said, just playing within the team. Uh, my teammates have confidence in me. I have confidence in them. We had a lot of assists tonight, hitting the extra pass, and when it came my way and I was open, I, I just knocked it down. I mean, Rob, you guys got to be happy. I mean, I want to say happy, but the fact you are able to come out with this win, even though despite the fact that, you know, your rebounding wasn't on, on target, um, you guys were missing foul shots, missed the several um, of the front ends of a one and one in the uh, first half that could have really given you guys even a bigger lead. Right. Um, well, we still have a lot of work to do. Um, coach is staying on us. He's not satisfied with the win, and we're not satisfied where we're at. Um, but we're just glad that we won the game, and now we can look back and look at what we need to improve on and hopefully uh, improve that and get better. Rasheed Gaston not in the game due to a concussion today. Uh, so somebody had to step up on the boards. You did the best you could uh, with the lineups today. Probably played more of a different lineup than we've ever seen. We saw a lot of uh, Paul tonight. We saw some of Riley May. He played well. We saw a little bit of uh, A.J. Rogers as well. But, again, you were pretty much the mainstay inside, had 11 rebounds, all of them on the defensive side. Talk a little bit about your focus on the defensive rebounds. Well, um, I'm, I've had to put extra emphasis on rebounds, uh, playing the position I play. I know my team needs me to uh, help out more on the, re on the boards than I've been helping out. So I uh, made a, put extra emphasis on uh, picking up my rebounding, and especially since Rasheed, our best rebounder, wasn't here tonight. Um, I just, you know, made a promise that I was going to try to pick up his slack as well. How difficult was it for you guys, um, especially when several of those players, those big guys, start getting into foul trouble? And you obviously, like you said, had to run a few different lineups out there than you're used to. How difficult was it for you guys to work through that? I don't, I, I don't think it's that difficult. We just have, I mean, somebody goes down, somebody has to step up, you know, and uh, we just adjust. We play our game. We like to push the ball up the court. And the, the, the smaller we get, the faster we get. So we feel like other teams still have to be able to match up with us as well. Two top 25 opponents coming up this week for you. First, you start off at Illinois on Tuesday, and then on Friday, travel down to Raleigh to take on uh, NC State. Talk a little about the next two games for you. and What, what do you want to get out of those two ball games? Um, well, we haven't played our best game yet, and uh, we know it's a process, but we just want to we want to go in there compete. Um, our, our goal is to win the game, so we want to go in there compete, play hard. And, uh, you know, let the outcome be the outcome. But as long as we, in our mind, play to play our hardest and play to our potential, we feel like we have just as good a shot as anybody. 17 points, 11 rebounds, three assists, three steals, one turnover for Rob Johnson. That's his line. He's the Spartan Partners postgame player of the game. The Spartans victorious tonight, 83-66 over UMBC, 20 points for Malcolm Hawkins, 19 for Pendarvis Williams, as the Spartans now improve to 6-5 and five overall before they take on Illinois on Tuesday and NC State on Friday. We'll see you on Friday night as the Spartans take on NC State next time on NSUSpartans.com.